Tainari is different from other scholars I've met. He has the same wholehearted dedication to knowledge, but he will never cross the most important boundaries. Some scholars see themselves as gods within their own laboratories, but not Tainari. He has always shown the same respect for every form of life. I've heard that he even declined a position in the academia, and I support his decision. Tainari once told me not to tell jokes at the dinner table, insisting that my jokes weren't funny at all. I did not share his opinion, so I told three of my best jokes in a row and explained the premise of each in great detail. By the time I was done talking, my food was cold. I don't really like people who are too smart. They think they can control everything and constantly venture to the fringes of danger. But all hate them is one of the more reliable ones. In most cases, he is actually in control of things and has the ability to avert potential disaster. Tainari and Kale never said it to my face, but they found Kaveh's personal anecdotes far more entertaining than the jokes I had prepared. I could see it on their faces. Hmm? What did I think about that? Well, I thought it was funny that they could laugh at such a situation. I've carefully browsed through the case files regarding Faruzan's disappearance. At the time, I thought maybe she had been conducting some kind of dangerous research. But once I met her in person, I completely abandoned that idea. <sighs> Though it might be a little hard for me to get along with her, she mostly reminds me of a kindly and chatty parent. She is considerate of others and would never do anything imprudent. Of course I know about Lisa. We once both studied under the same sage. As General Mahamatra, I've seen many tragedies befall those seeking knowledge too assiduously. So it's easy for me to understand her decision. I once helped Kale seal away the god's remains and her body, but the process was an unthinkably painful one, to many, and during that kind of pain would be a prospect more terrifying than death. So, it was very admirable that she was able to persevere through it all.